Okay, so today we are still working on our market maker. As you can see, it just entered the order here. It's running through, doing some things, sleeping 10 minutes right now. As I mentioned here on my Twitter, Moondev on YT, uh, today I'm gonna build a market maker that makes money regardless of price. So that's what we're doing. We're still working on it and we're so close to the end here. We've got a couple cool things we're gonna add, like stacking sides. So we'll buy, 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 or sell, 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 instead of just buying once. Now, we ran into this problem where it says this is long here. So on line 633, it says this is long. Long is zero. So we have to figure out why does it say that? I know I put that in at some point. I, I know where it is as well. It's just uh, super weird that it's showing it. So 633, you can see there's a ton of code. Um, this is long, okay? So long is zero. Now let's go, let's just figure out where all the longs are. Long 633 is where it happened. Dang, I, long is a bad one to, I left long equals true. 633, let's go to 633 and we'll work our way up gonna be a better way. Let's close this for now. So it happened here else. So what's this asking? This big if statement, if comp time, okay. And when's the last time it got the long is the question. We just need to figure out if it's long, if the position is long or not. Oh, maybe this, you know, these aren't capitalized. Side is none. Okay, I can figure that out actually pretty easily, I think. Um, let's just try that. Maybe they're just regular capitalization. I got a little crazy and I, I did full capitalization. So let's just, let's run it. And it's gonna take 15 seconds to run. So in that 15 seconds, I really highly urge you since you're here, you might as well just join the bootcamp. It's 100% risk-free, money back guarantee, all that good stuff. And it's super cheap just to make sure we can teach this to as many people as possible. and. Yeah, it just really helps you accelerate. We're seeing a lot of good good results. So, so long is true. Okay, perfect, perfect. We fixed that. Um, I messed up here, and I'm actually gonna double check that because, yeah, I just got a little excited, all right? So I did all caps, and that messed up my whole bot. So <laughs> that's funny, but it's uh, it's fixed now. So. What we're gonna do from here is essentially, we're just gonna keep attacking our checkpoints on this bot because there's a lot of things that we wanna build here, sleeping 10 minutes, and that reminds me of one that I do wanna build. So let's go ahead and see here, active orders. It's trying to close. Well, that's a bug. Look at that, it's trying to close a position of one when we actually have a position of two. So we need to get it's not a bug, but it's just something we need, need to do. Uh, on close, find the open size, then close that amount. You know what I'm saying? So instead of, look, it's trying to close out one, but once we start making this a little more sophisticated, this open size could be 10, it could be 20, it could be 19, it could be three, whatever. So stacking sides, we don't want to open immediately. We want to make sure to do this as well if the order back comes back canceled. So I wonder how we could figure that out. That's not too hard. Let's go ahead and say, hmm. I think we only need to do this on the close. And 
by the way, this is a mean reversion bot down here that we built here on YouTube. All the code is in the boot camp. I'm just thinking here. So if the order back comes back on the close, let's say uh, close or need close. <clears throat> I think one way to do that is just like output the order and if the game came back close I'm gonna do that one a little later um, because eventually it's gonna close so let's put that one on the back burner for now but I don't want to enter immediately okay on close we need to do this one this one is essential now so let's go and say an on close because you saw it just closed one position instead of the open position size Conditional order probably should do that too. So on close order and conditional. And this isn't hard to do because I have that kill switch here. So let's go to the kill switch and let's say long open position, open position equals one. This returns true or false. BT size, this gets the open position size. So I'm just going to take this and we're going to go to wherever it closes our position. So LF long, buy to close, sell to close. Put that in here. And well, it's, it's already there. BTC kill size, so where does that get set? 576? Oh. It's right there. We already do that. So why did it set an order? I knew I wouldn't have forgot that. Like, come on, B. Why did it set an order though for just one? While open position is true, let's go to open positions again. Where are we? 554? 554, 554. 012, okay. Let's go back to 554. Because you see the order, right? Or it was there. Let's run it again just so. You can double check. It should put an order in for two. At least that's how we want it. Looks like GLMR just hit its target. 9%, 9.8%. Okay, so it just put an order in for one again. So it just made a sell to close. Let's do this. Debugging. No, that's not where we did it though. Oh, so it, maybe it's not happening there. Because we do have a couple places we do this. So maybe it's on the next one. Just made a sell to open. Just made a stop loss. Ah, it's right here. So maybe we need to do it again because, yeah, I think that's it actually. Not positive, but we'll see here in a second. We'll get the size again. So let's get this little thing, I think. Let's go down to where it's essentially trying to save me because it's like, holy smokes, you don't have a close on there, a close position. So we go down here and since we're looping through every like 20 seconds or whatever, it says, oh, LF, it needs a close. Bro, like you're about to get liquidated. So what is the close? Well, we put it as size instead of BTC kill size. That was my error, my error, BTC kill size. Boom. Now let's run it back. 
and let's see what happens because we have this open position of two it should get us out with two size this time and i'll put all the code in the boot camp which is 100 percent risk-free link for that below but i hope this works so we can move on to the next part size of two there we go it says size of one here but it it closed us at two or it's trying to close us at two so now it's just some beauty we need to fix size there and i actually remember writing this i i switched it over but that was a bad move by me bad move by moon bad move by moon all right so now we should be solid um that's fixed now i think we want to go ahead and say let's say done what else do we want to do i really want to get to the stacking sides thing i think this is going to be a really great improvement to this bot so we're going to do that here soon but i want to get all these other things done as well so how would we do this if it needs a close my worry here okay so if order back comes back canceled what's gonna happen so let's go ahead and say um 10 minutes sleeping 10 minutes so if need to close is there and it closes or it tries to close but the order back order comes back canceled because it's a post only. But it shouldn't ever do that. Very rarely at least. But I'm curious what's gonna happen. So let's cancel this and let's call this order. Order equals and let's say print order print order because I think we can just see if it comes back canceled or not and I don't think it should but let's try it let's say order equals and then print order again print order now when we run this when we run it it should send us back the order and then we we could do is say hey if it comes back canceled then we'll set it again it shouldn't really happen much and when it does happen i think it's going to be in a positive light but let's go ahead and see what happens here Okay, so it put in the order, which is great. I wanna read this now, and since I don't read gibberish, I have to put it into this and then format it, and I still barely can read it, but it's all good. Order ID, symbol, side, cell. I'm looking for like a canceled or accepted. Order type, price, order quantity, display, time and force, reduce only. Close PL, close side, cumulative value. I would think they would show a canceled somewhere. Trigger unspecified. Pending new. Maybe that will do. Created. That could be good. Whoa, 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 whoa. What just happened? Oh, look at that. Our stop loss. Just hit. Which is good. But reminds me, like, why are we even trading this market right now? So I'm going to put another thing here. Um, nine. Why trading this market? What uh, time range is the low to high? Okay. I actually want to cancel this because I want this to run. So 
So let's go back to where we were. How can we make it so it can't, so it cancels it? You know what? I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do, I'm gonna not cheat, but I'm just gonna do it the lazy way, which might hurt me in the future, but I think it won't happen that often, even though it just happened on video. I'm gonna have to think about this one a little bit longer. But I think for now, what I wanna do is 10 minutes, sleeping 10 minutes, sleeping, we're gonna sleep two minutes. Sleep one minute. I mean, cause why, why do we need to sleep on the need clothes? Yeah, we don't need to sleep that long. We're not that tired. Just drink some coffee and roll. One minute, one minute, one minute. I'm gonna delete this. I don't wanna see the order anymore. All right, so now we'll run it. And what should it do here? It should probably, why are we still in that position is my question. I thought it hit our stop loss, but whatever. It should get us out of this position now. So we're essentially, it should close us out of this one position. So put an order in for one. Okay, perfect. And it put it up there. So now it's going to sleep one minute. Perfect. Okay, so we're good to go. We're good to go on this now. Now I want to start figuring out how can we go ahead and... Wait, but it doesn't have a stop loss. Oh, it hasn't got there yet. So it's gonna sleep one minute. So I don't even know why we're sleeping a full minute. I think we should just do 30 seconds. Why do we even sleep after the need closed is my question. Yeah, I don't even wanna sleep. I'm taking this whole sleep out. I'm gonna make a note to myself. Removed the above sleep. Because why is it needed? We need to get to the stop loss. Okay, so I'm gonna cancel this again, just see if we can run it. And I'm gonna copy this over here and just put it in here. Okay, and now it's not even gonna sleep at all. But that is my timer because I know these videos can get long and I want to respect your time. So what we're going to do is let this run. We're going to watch it. And then I'm going to put all the code into the bootcamp. The bootcamp is 100% risk free. There's like a crazy money back guarantee if you're not able to get up and going by the end of it. I try to share absolutely everything I know there, all the code and all that. So sell to close. Perfect. Now it should also put the stop loss in. So I wonder why it didn't put the stop loss in there. Okay, because it does it the next time through. Okay, this is working beautifully now. And we're going to start working on the other stuff, which is stacking the orders. So I've tested this market maker for a long time, and it's done decently well and i just want to keep making it better so you can see we gucci all orders in place taking a 20 second nap so i think this is a really good stopping part i'm gonna go ahead and throw all the code when i'm finished into the boot camp and like i said it's 100 risk free uh with like a 2x money back guarantee so there's a link for that below i just wanted to make sure that like if you're on the on the fence like you're you can jump in evaluate it and then jump out if you want but um yeah, let's dive into the next video where I will uh, continue to do this. So I'll see you inside the boot camp or that next video.